Welcome back to the channel. Parked and Rec boys today are at Win West what? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Parked and Rec boys are at Wentz West. God, I can't say it. <laughs> Westminster Park. It's a little tongue twister. Down here in Rock Hill. And uh, this is right around the corner from Camp Canaan. Yep. And it is about 35 minutes south of Charlotte. It has a great rating, like 4.5, 4.6. Just built it last year. They have a little pitch and putt uh, for people learning on that side. And we have never played here. Mm -hmm. So really excited. Looks like we're going to play the longer course, which is... Uh, Got some tough ones, but uh, for the most part, it looks like most of them are around 300 feet and under, and there's a couple of beasts. It's on, a, it's on a church property, it is paid to play, six bucks, not too bad. Uh, yeah, but let's see what this thing, let's see what this course has to offer. Yeah, and we're the only ones here, yeah. so. We're and just... it's a beautiful day. Yeah, 27 degree beautiful. <laughs> yeah, All let's right. get it. Let's get it. Hole one, Westminster Disc Golf Course. It's 298 feet, par three. Beautiful little hole down the hill. It looks like your uh, biggest obstacle is gonna be the ceiling, but you're probably gonna to wanna to throw a putter or mid-range, just try to match the slope of the hill so it doesn't fade off too much once you get down there. Beautiful starting hole. All right, let's see what this cold, rigid body can do. Ah. All right, I'm gonna try a hex and, uh, you know, just try to get this thing started off with a little ace. Oh. Right down the middle. <laughs> Call it. Are you ready? One time. Actually, that's a beauty. Wow. Okay. Didn't ace it, but. I not sure if I can follow that up, but we're gonna go with the Mega 3. Just be smooth, dude. Just smooth. smooth, it's just the layers. Yeah. I got five, I think, five layers. Yeah, I feel like I weigh 240 right now. It's pretty smooth. Go in. <laughs> wow. I don't, even, I don't even know if we should throw anymore, but. Oh, wow. Uh, we gotta take our second try though. Oh, for sure. All right, I wanna try my Mako now. You made that look fun. Oh, mine's a little flippier. You're doing a great job getting out of the way today, Mike. Did I? Yeah. Both times? Yeah, <laughs> you like ran off screen. Thought you were being sarcastic. <laughs> no, not this time. <laughs> we're going to soft proxy. Ooh, flip. Another good one. Scooch. All right. I do Couple like options that I'm sure I'll miss. I do like the flags too, give you a little wind read. Oh yeah. That's nice. Yeah, this is a really beautiful course so far. I mean, I know it's hole one, but great yeah. first impressions. Yeah, I mean, always good when you have a uh, great starting hole. Okay. This should be 100%, but we're a little layered up, a little windy. Yep. Oh. Exactly as I figured. Nice, Mike. All right. Hole two, 281 feet, and it's just gonna be a little hyzer. Got some trees on the left you wanna stay away from, and it looks like it's just over the hill, so if you go long, you're probably gonna go way down the hill and have a little uphill putt. Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe a fairway? I'm going I think I might try my Tesla. All right, just gonna try to take it wide and swing it in there. The, the one thing I read online was the tee pads were not the best, but I think eventually they'll probably put in some concrete, but... I like these, Yeah, honestly. I mean... Just check and make sure it's not there. frozen, though. <laughs> yeah, but I think there's some that they don't have these in yet. Oh, okay. I like the turf. Yeah. All right. As long as I don't hit a gumball, it'll be all right. Ooh, a little That'll tester. Work. All right, we're going with my resistor. Hoo, 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 almost aced it. Come back. 
All right, a little too much. All right, we got another chance here. There it is, nice birdie. There we go. Thank you. There we go. All right, birdie par, par birdie. Hole three. We're playing longs, we did mention that, right? I think so. If we didn't, we're playing longs. 306 feet, par three, split fairway. So obviously right side or left side. Um, hole three, and so far, this course, loving it. Pristine. You're up, dog. Oh shit, oh, we do have a little headwind. I'm gonna try this turn. This just looks like a pump for some reason. Uh, we got a little bit of headwind, so hopefully it doesn't turn over too much. Ooh, almost hit the basket. That was the perfect amount of flip. All right, I'm gonna try my wraith and uh, try to keep this microphone on me if I can. Gotta get it tucked. All right, this wraith should do the trick. Push a little. All right, a little short, but Mikeable. got lucky. Got through there. All right. A little tester for birdie. Get up. Nice. Thank you. Jeez, that sun is blinding. Yo, oh, 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 I thought I had it. You look good. It's all right, pars are good. Ooh, we got a little swamp action over here. Yeah, a little. Ice, hole four, 903 feet, par five. I think this is the longest hole out here. And it's pretty cool. So you got a little water here on the right that shouldn't come into play unless you really grip lock it. Um, and then it kind of has like a split fairway down there for your second shot. So we're trying to figure it out, but I'm thinking, uh, you know, throw something stable, kind of flex it and get around to the left. Or if you want to try to play that right side, just maybe throw something a little understable that keeps drifting to the right as far as you can get it. Uh, luckily for me, Tyler's going first. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna try the turn. See if I can just get it to drift. If it keeps drifting, fine. If it fights back, I'll say fine. Oh, that's perfect. I think that's, I mean, never played here, but. Yeah, like, it looks good. I feel like that's where you want to be. All right, I'm going to go with my pro boss and try to follow his line. Oh, yeah. Beauties. All right. I think that's where we want to be. Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm going to go Roadrunner this time. Looks like now we're just in front of the short tee pad, so now we just got to hit this gap and probably get it to go a little bit to the right. Not high enough, but it's safe. Yeah. Hit the gap. <clears throat> All right, we have no idea where the basket is. We think it's way down, like towards the edge of the fairway and maybe up to the left. So that's what we're planning on. But I'm gonna try this DD, probably not the best disc to throw. I'm gonna see if I can get way down there. Get through there. Oh, hit a tree and still out drove me. Man. A little lower, I think I was smushed. Yep, that was good. All right, we found it. Oh, we found the basket. It's up there on the left, just beside that big tree. So, uh, atop a hill, maybe. Yeah, I would say it's probably still at least 300. I'd say so. You know, I'd, my first two shots weren't that crazy far, so I would say probably more like 350 or four. I'm gonna try my cloud breaker and uh, maybe try to get me close enough to give me a birdie putt. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try it out this turn. That's not the line I was going for, but it'll be all right. Okay. You got a, you got another birdie, dude. Looks like a putt. Okay. Closer than I thought I was. A little headwind. Got 
Come on, baby. Chill out. All right, I got something low in my way, something high in my way. Get up. Oh. Two Dang it. missed opportunities there. That was makeable, for sure. There nice putt. Par. Couple of pars. All right, par. That's that's a that's birdieable if you if you get a better oh, yeah. putter. I think big arms can eagle that one. Oh yeah, for, for sure. sure, for sure. On the hole five, Westminster Park. This one's 518 foot par four. Looks a little tricky. So you want to go up this hill, up to the right. You can see that far um, tree line. That's too far, so you don't want to throw it that far or you'll uh, have a tricky shot to the basket. Um, but just in front of that, you want to have it just fade off to the right, and then you'll have a straight shot up with the basket a little off to the left. All right, what you doing? And again, beautiful course. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Loving it so far. Oh, it's me again, isn't it? It's still you, dog. Ooh, is that headwind? I have no idea what this is about to do, but we're gonna try this DD. I think that's good. That might be a little too far right. I don't know. It look, looks solid. I'm going to try my Barsby Roadrunner and uh, just try to get it up and to the right a little bit. Oh, roll, baby. Now, that, I think that's perfect. You think? I yeah. threw it kind of low. I think that's perfect. Yeah. All right. Uh, I got a maybe 330. 335 left because I threw that drive about 200 feet. So uphill. I'm gonna try Halo Road Runner and see if I can get one down this tunnel. Perfect. Perfect. Plan for, plan for par. Beauty. I'm just gonna toss the fee. Flip a little. Oh, you suck so bad. Oh no. Perfect drive. That's so disappointing. Was that the disc though? It was the disc. It was the right disc. Ooh, good run. I thought it was too cold for the AVR, but the other putters are just not doing their job, so I have to try to use them. Come on. Come on. Oh, turbo skip off your putter. What was that? <laughs> okay, a lot of pars. A lot yeah. of pars so far, but. First time here. A lot yeah. of birdies. A lot of birdies next time. We gotta figure sure. it out. Hole six, 217 feet. One of the shorter ones out here, but pretty cool little putter tunnel shot. Uh, I think I'm going to go down the right side with an envy, but you could also forehand a putter down the left or maybe a zone. Um, probably throw a mid range too. Well, just whatever you can throw straight and just turn left right at the end. Um, short pad is only 128, so it's a lot shorter. So I think this is a much cooler shot, but Tyler's still up. I'm going to try to soft this PA5 and see if I don't flip it up too much. Well, if I'd hit the gap, that'd have been perfect. Oh, she just kept going. Yeah, if I'd hit that right side, it'd been money. Okay, I'm going to try uh, an Envy and see if I can just float it on in there. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice little kick. Hey. Right to the basket. God dang it. Good run. Almost. I had a, I had a look at it. Easiest birdie of the day right there. So far. Well, I don't know if they're going to get any easier than that. All right, on to hole seven. Hole seven, little slice of heaven. It's a par three, long par three, but it's downhill, 410 feet. Uh, it's a raised basket, wood line behind. Uh, Probably something with a little speed behind it, I would say. Oh, yeah. And I guess I got to go first, Al. Ha. Damn. Shrike. 
give it a go. Might be too beefy, but honestly, the chance of me getting there is slim. Oh, you got it. It's downhill, bro. Where am I going? It's coming. Uh, come on. It's coming. Get out of the water. Right into the water. That's oh. not water. It's ice. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's why I rolled across. <laughs> yeah, that we can call that. We're going to rename that disc Jesus. Yeah. He just did a little moonwalk across that thing. Okay. We're going to try the DD. A little afraid to throw it. We got some swirling winds. It's pretty flippy. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah, she's gone. Maybe if it'll roll out a little bit. The ground okay. is hard. A little bergy. From the frozen tundra. Come on. Oh, great run, Mike. Close, but no He's cigar. dirty with it. Rolling, rolling bird. I'm to knock your holes out. Hole eight, 247. Big hyzer to the left. So not a long shot, but you really got to hug the tree line and get it high enough to push all the way left. Yeah, it's, it's way over You can't there. really see it from where you are, but it's it's pretty far left. The woods just barely. So uh, it's way over there. Yep, we got a little wind in the face. I'm yeah. gonna try my sex and firebird, and I'm just gonna try to get one high, and hopefully this wind will help push it to the left a little bit. That is. Man, that's so hard. Yeah, I'm I'm a hundred feet away probably still. That's crazy. All right. Go on, Firebird. These motherfuckers don't stop calling me. It's game likely. It's better. But still nowhere close. No? No. I, I mean, it like might you... be like 40, uh, 50. Well, better than 80. Good run. Dang. Okay, a little. Downhill, 30 chance, a little bit of wind. Oh, that was so bad, it just fell out of my hand, dude. Get the snack. There's always next year. Hole nine, 280 feet par three. Just right up there, as you can see. Tricky little shot, I think, because of the ceiling. Uh, I mean, you have a gap to hit kind of off the tee, then it opens up, and then you got to shoot the gap to the woods. Looks like a fun shot, but pretty tough. Yep, I would love to be able to throw a backhand here, but I, like he said, I think the ceiling is going to get in the way. So I'm going to try a Halo T Bird 3 and see if I can kind of flex one in there. And it's really tough because even if you throw a great shot, those two trees are yeah. blocking you off. Come on back. Oh, it skipped. Did it? Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of, you see a little divot off to the left. You're up yeah. on the right hill of it. Okay. That's yeah, you're putting. About what I was trying to do, but a little more left than I wanted to be. Tricky shot though. What are you going with? I'm gonna try the Eagle. Yeah, that's, that should be good. Eagle X, backhand. Oh, just pured it. Not the best reaction there at the end, but I think we're both putting. I know it's short, but these always just scare me with the wind. Nice putt. Finally. Star frame. Hey, baby. I wouldn't have thought it was a star frame looking at that. No, shot. me either. Welcome to the back nine at Westminster. <laughs> Got it this time. This one is 284, little slightly uphill. One thing's nice on the pads here, they tell you the elevation change as well. So 
plus eight feet. And uh, I think it's probably best for a forehand because you need it to push up and then skip to the right a little bit. Uh, but you could probably get a little backhand to turn over, but I'm gonna try my Tesla and uh, just see if I can get one to hit the gap. All right, see what this Tesla can do. Little inside. Oh, great throw though. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it was clean. Yeah, I think that's you gonna. Could have had the distance. I think you... that's gonna be a bogey. Because I have no idea what I'm about to do. I'm, I'm thinking roller. <laughs> yeah. Or just trust your forehand and park okay. it, dude. We'll try. It. We'll try a little Firebird. Too low. Oh, bad skip. Oh, okay. If we I hadn't got... hit that little damn root in ground, I might have been all right. Yeah. I yeah. Think... There's a root somewhere in that field out there. P2, baby. Ah. Good shot. It was a run, but it was a terrible one. All right. I got to try to go around these trees with the berg. Berg blasting. Told y'all to get one. The touch on that guy. Because I thought I was spawning. There's a bunch of deer out here. Yeah. It's cool. Hole 11, par three, 279 from a long tee. Uh, it's just through that gap. Uh, that gap's probably about halfway through the hole. Once you get through, you just want to fade off to the left, probably fairway or mid-range. Ooh, it's a tricky one. Who's that, Mikey? Uh, I want to say it's me still. I mean, 279. Really got to get it to go left pretty hard. I'm going to try the Tesla. That looks great. Get on over there. Oh, man, that is a really tough wow. shot. I thought I threw that great. How far do you have to get it? I mean, to get around. That looked like the perfect distance. I thought so, but I think uh, I just caught one maybe on the back side of the fairway. I don't know. Right, I'm gonna try the Firebird. Oh yeah. Get off of that. Ooh. Oh, it did. Oh. Same tree, I think. Jeez. <laughs> that is a tough shot. I mean, Often imitated but never duplicated. Man, just needed to be a little right. Oh, that's not it. Ah, uh, dang. Could have had him, could have had him. I would say the distance I have trouble with is usually like hole number 12. This one is 224 feet, elevated basket, very tight line. So I would say a very difficult 224 feet. Yeah. We were just talking about it. I think if you want to go for the ace or get really close, maybe throw something over stable and try to flex it back in there, maybe a zone or even like a firebird or something. Yeah. But I think we're going to just try to hit the gap. So I'm going to throw my hex and see if I can just get one to gently turn a little bit. But uh, I'm scared. Yeah. Ain't nothing better than that. Whew. Gotta love the hex. Now I'm even more scared. <laughs> Make it a three. Oh, so, so close. close. So Did close. I block that whole entire thing? No. Good. All right. Little forehand Bergen, just gonna try and layer up. Oh wow, get down. Lay down. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Oh, I'm fucked, Mike. It's definitely doesn't look easy over there. Whew. Let's see if I can get these cold hands to work. Let's go. Come on. Man, I just cannot get one to drop. Oh, no. <laughs> that was brutal, dude. Is that the first bogey of the round? That's the first bogey. Damn it. What a disappointment. All right, hole 13, tough one. 
It's 241 feet, it's a par three. Uh, when we were trying to find courses to come to, we found this one, we were looking at the reviews. This is one that stood out for some people. Uh, they said it's a little gimmicky. I guess I can kind of see what they're talking about, but it's just a hard hole. If you hit the gap, very rewarding. Yeah, if you miss it, you're gonna be pissed off. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to try to go with something uh, flippy and I'm going to try to forehand a leopard because I don't like this big tree here for the backhand. But to be honest, I mean, this is a, this is a gnarly little shot anyway you look at it. But uh, let's see what we can do. It's only 241. She's got to hit the middle. You know what? It's not the worst thing no. ever happened. That's not bad at all. I'd, <laughs> I'd be very happy with that. I mean, it's really, if I get past these first three trees right here, I'll be thrilled. You going backhand? I'm going to try to. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. All right, we're going to go P2. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, so I'm going to go with my Berg. Oh, yeah. I've seen this before. Come on, baby. Nice, Mike. I've, I've, I've played in the snow. Yeah. Hole 14, another par 4. 410 feet, so it's fairly short par 4. But there are 24 feet of elevation going up. And it just looks really tight. Yeah, so pretty tight the whole way. So you basically just want to keep this thing in the fairway. And uh, I think if you throw two decent 200 foot shots, it should be an easy birdie. But I think the challenge is uh, keeping it in the middle here because the fairway is only like 20 feet wide. So I'm going to go with a leopard and just hopefully get one straight. That's right. great. Not too bad. Hopefully I'm still in the fairway. All right, I did this the other day. It's something I'm not good at, but I'm gonna try it again. Just power down on F5. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that's such a pretty disc. Yeah, it's beautiful, but I got knocked off into did you? Off into the left, yeah. Yeah, I think we kind of went for the same thing there, like a just a soft, lower speed fairway and let it stay straight. Don't usually flick this, but what is it? Leopard. Okay. I think I never knew, but oh, that's right. Oh, you got from Camp Canaan. Uh, this is a two-dollar disc right here. Uh, all right. It's very tough if you get off the fairway, as you can see. So I'm gonna just try to get one up there in the middle. That's not in get the middle. Through. Hang on. Oh. Okay. Mm. Man, that is not what I was looking for. All right, the play is the pitch out, but I'm gonna find that. So I'm just gonna hit one of these trees really hard right in front of me instead. Just like I said, perfect. Well, so this 410 is uh, it's challenging. Definitely, I thought we threw good drives and we were not in good position at all. Big score. You got nothing? No, not really. Like, I don't even have a roller. I might have to go to my knees. <clears throat> Great ground play not, again. That's not bad. <sighs> yep, nice. All right, long straddle for bogey. Nope. Oh, good try. All right. I think that's going to do it, boys. Nice putt. That's an unfortunate hole. That is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I got a really bad kick off that drive. Yeah, I thought your drive was better than mine. And... You ended up just sliding down that hill, I guess. Another cool hole here at Westminster. Hole 15, 453 foot par three. But obviously, as you can see, it's downhill. Um, the fairway is better shaped for a forehand, but that is a bomb forehand. I'll probably end up throwing backhand, of course. 
And we got a little bit of tailwind. So it's gonna make everything a little more stable. All right, I'm gonna try this Pro Boss. We got a little tailwind. This thing flipped hard on me earlier, so we'll see what happens this time. He's just holding that. How is it holding that? Go in. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with the Zeus. Okay. Shorter tail. Big skip. All right, that's not great. I'm gonna toss up this P2. Oh gosh. What if I gave it some height? It's crazy what can happen on a back nine. Mike with the demanding lead. I'll never be able to throw it that far again. <laughs> got a perfect combination of switching winds so that thing left my hand hole 16 312 feet down about five feet and it's pretty pretty interesting hole so you can go right at it down this left side maybe something like a little hyzer flip if you have a strong forehand definitely would say pushing a forehand down that side would be good uh, but then there's also this gap on the right if you want to throw more of a hyzer line and just kind of let it go down the hill and skip left, which might actually be easier, even though it's still not easy. I'm gonna try my cloud breaker, I believe. And I'm gonna go for that gap on the right. Come on, come on. Looks great. Okay, might be a little short, but got through there. I'm gonna try the same thing. Throw a little bit speedier of a disc to get it under the ceiling and get a big skip if I hit the gap. That's so bad. There's your big skip though <laughs> on the other tree line. Oh no. Fell apart. Just falling apart. P2. Chain high. Nice putt. There we go. There it is. Nice putt. Hole 17. It's a par four, 639 feet. Looks like it goes about 300 feet down and about 300 feet off to the right. Um, you can kind of see that big tree on the right. That's where this right wood line kind of opens up. So you want to land pretty close to there so then you can shoot the gap up towards the basket. All right, I'm gonna try this Halo Roadrunner and see if I can just keep it pretty straight. Now get down. All right, might have gone a little too far left. All right, let's give this F5 a try. All right, we're gonna try the turn. Oh, that's so bad. I just, it's completely, completely falling apart. I also slipped a lot, but that's okay. okay. I'm gonna go cloud breaker. All right, this should be interesting. We got direct headwind. Just going to keep the same putter. Put. Good run. Okay, I'm going to try this PA1. I've been trying to work it in the bag a little bit. Come on back. All right. Hey. A little straighter than I thought it would be. Dang, that thing smacked down in there. Yeah. Nice putt. All right, poor. Oh, okay, it says the second shot's a lot tougher than I thought. It's pretty far. Yeah. Hole 18, 372 feet downhill. Beautiful finishing hole. You can go left or right of this tree in the middle. That tree in the middle basically just covers up the basket perfectly. So you can hyzer flip down the left. 
I mean, down the right or left, really, and or you could maybe throw a forehand as well down the left side and let it sweep in. Uh, but uh, it looks like a really cool it's last cool hole. hole. Yeah. Overall, I really like this course. It's yeah, been it's beautiful. It's course. been really. Definitely can't wait to come back out and try it again now that I know the layout a little bit. I'm gonna try my Halo Road Runner. There's a little wind behind us, but I'm gonna try to go down the left side and just turn it a little bit. Nice, Mike. All right, I almost hit that tree. Yeah. <laughs> Real close. All right, we're gonna try the Sphinx on the left side as well. Oh, baby. One time. No. Ooh, 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 good run, dude. I only had a good throw, though. Come on! Oh, man, every time. Just a little short. Okay. Ours. Next T. Is there 19? Is there? All right, that does it. 18 holes out here at Westminster Park. I don't know why I can't get that out of my mouth, but uh, amazing course. Very cool. I would say probably one of the best new courses I've played in a long time. Mm -hmm. I actually had no idea it was here and it is worth this, every bit of the six bucks. Yeah, it seems like it might be some type of old farmland because you got the open pastures, you got the wooded areas, very well manicured, beautiful course. Yeah. Definitely recommend it. You know, we saw deer, we saw hawks, mm -hmm. uh, and we saw no other disc golfers. Yeah. We're out here on a Wednesday. Obviously, I would say it probably gets a little busier on the weekends. Also, when it's warming up, yeah. I would say we'll probably get a few more people out here. Uh, but if you want to drive 35 minutes south of Charlotte and try a new course, one. Uh, this one is definitely at the top of my list, yeah. I would say, give it a go. Yeah, get out here, try it out. We appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all soon. Thank y'all. Peace. All right, buddy. It's so bad, dude. <sighs> All right. All right. All right. Ready to rock. Rock Hill. Ready to rock Hill.